Welcome to the presentation on M-Trap Probe Trap Reception. The example environment used was the latest GA M-Trap D probe installed on a Netcall Omnibus 8.1 Linux system. You can troubleshoot trap reception at a number of points within the system. It is important to determine where the problem of trap loss is occurring before investigating further. You can use TCP dump to check for missing traps that arrive at the probe's port but are never seen in the logs or raw capture files. You can also log specific trap tokens for all traps in the log file so that gaps in the trap reception can be identified without debug logging. In this example, for SNMP v1 traps, the traps are seen in the PCAP file arriving at the probe port. There are a number of checks that can be performed to determine why the traps are being lost in the probe. A common cause is event processing and traps being discarded as the event queue is full. Sometimes the problem relates to SNMP v2c compliance. This type of problem can only be determined through analysis of the PCAP data following the identification of the missing traps. In this example, for SNMP v2c traps, some traps are lost in the probe. Check for the common causes. SNMP v3 traps and informs are the most troublesome to determine the cause of event loss. This is because the data is encrypted in the PCAP file and the use of engine IDs, users and passwords complicate trap perception. Always ensure that the mtrapd.conf file is configured correctly and that the expected probe properties are being used before any entering into any detailed analysis. Common problems include passwords with characters that are misinterpreted due to platform differences, non-unique engine IDs and the misspelling of usernames and passwords.